Nexus Robotics was founded in 2017. The idea was to provide a autonomous weeding solution to vegetable farmers. I became interested in autonomous systems in the final year of university when one of our uh, big engineering projects was to program a, a little skid steering robot to, to navigate a terrain with range finders. I was very fascinated with the idea that a machine can navigate the world with some semblance to human functionality and that became sort of a, a dream of mine to pursue at some point in my life. The two co-founders, which include myself, were working on a farm pulling weeds by hand and realizing how uh, straining it was. And that's where the motivation to create a robotic solution came from. As a, as a technologist, for me, our proudest moment was when we achieved the sub-centimeter accuracy for our picking that was crucial for the viability of our product. We have wanted to integrate uh, RTK GPS and IMU into our system for uh, a long time. So we were very impressed with the GQ7's specifications. An example being the ability to, to refine the uh, GNSS offset and then the filter itself being able to update that position. It made it possible for us to essentially mount the GQ7s onto our robot without having to rescan the robot and do a recalibration for it. It's very important for our product to be performing as many hours a day as possible with as little downtime as possible. And one of our pain points is handling situations of uh, RTK GPS dropout. And one of the specifications, one of the features we liked about the GQ7 quite a bit is that they were able to handle uh, GPS blackouts while maintaining a good INS solution. We, we found the experience of integrating the GQ7 in our system to be quite an easy one. The ROS driver that was available was very easy to configure and utilize. The support we got from MicroStrain was very thorough, very informative, and very readily available. Video calls and uh, very large emails that were uh, just explaining the ins and outs of the system, making the experience a, a, a very, very user-friendly one. As close to the problem as the support team can possibly get, they got, and it enabled us to finally set it up and use it successfully. Nexus's vision does not stop at weeding robots. It's 2023 now and we've commercialized a robotic fleet in Quebec, Ontario and California. I think that we will see robotic solutions being used on farms far more frequently going forward. We hope to be one of the pioneers in that field.